McCain! Yeah, I pulled you with my left hand there. And, and I don't know if they could see me, but I gave a little bit of a nod. Like, just to give them some hope. Make way, everyone. Show your respect to the new king of Akron. I'm sure most of you have already seen, but Marty and Cyrax got in a little physical altercation on Saturday. I wanted to let this situation marinate a little bit before commenting on it. I thought I'd let the other culture vultures swarm over this carcass of an incident instead of trying to compete with that rat race, but I'll try my best to catch you up if you are unaware and attempt to give some insightful commentary. So Marty has been teasing getting an Airbnb down the street from Cyrax in Akron. Well, he followed through and him streaming from his front porch as he's trying to lure the goblin from his dungeon to come and confront him. Cyrax is so much talk and consistently says that if any troll shows up in his city that he will beat the piss out of him. Well, Marty is here. Where are you, Chance? Look. Oh, here he is. Come on by, buddy boy. I apologize for the crappy quality of this Bigfoot image. We can just briefly see, in the background, Cyrax come into view. Keep in mind, we are only 30 minutes into Marty's stream, and I'm sure that Rax has been paying attention from the very beginning. I wonder what triggered him to come out and confront his biggest enemy. My greatest guess is that Marty kept waving to the passerbys and saying hello to people. He was trying to show them that it was all going to get better with him in charge of the Akron Crown. Cyrax is a noble man, obviously, so he will defend his honor with all of his 100 pound might. You gotta wonder what he told Sally before he went sprinting out of the house. Probably something along the lines of, you're going to have to call the police to get a body bag from Marty once I'm done with him. The constant state of delusion from Cyrax is what keeps me coming back. Let's get into the altercation. I'm going to break it down in chunks, so if you hate that, I'm sorry. I thought I told you it was later. Come on. Come on. Here he is coming all high and mighty. I thought I told you not to be here. What authority do you have, Cyrax? Just imagine if the roles were reversed. Cyrax couldn't dream of getting the money to be able to rent an Airbnb for a weekend. He is so delusional it is downright preposterous. You think that at some point he realized that he has his words have zero sway on anyone in his life, and that he shouldn't take his macho man persona, because that's how you get knocked out. However, I guess I'm just describing what delusion is. Anyway, he sort of charges at Marty, which at first I assumed Marty was going to give Chance an opportunity to confront him in a non-physical manner. Whether or not Cyrax was intending to get in a fight is irrelevant, because he showcased some type of motive to attack. Let the Royal Rumble begin. Oh. Why? Stupid motherfucker. Uh. Why leave me alone, boy? I think this is the first time we ever get to see Marty, and oh boy is this an uneven matchup. I can't guess his dimensions, all that great but he's taller and way heavier than Cyrax so this fight is over before it began. I'm not an expert in fights I tend to avoid them with all possibility but I can tell that Marty threw Chance to the ground and began wailing on him. You can tell by the strain on Chance's voice that he's being pinned down by him right now. I can only vouch for this because this is what I sounded like when I was when I would fight my older brothers when I was like eight. To use Cyrax's own words against him, when are you gonna learn, boy? Get the fuck out of here. Who's the king? You are? Then run away now. You shut the fuck up. Fine. You win. You win. You win. Please let me go. I'm you. Please! I usually don't let clips run that long, but that is just 
chef's kiss good. The beginning of the clip sounds like someone is spitting on the other, but that could just be Marty getting clean hits against Cyrax, because that is what a clean contact can sound like. However, I could see both of them spitting on each other. <laughs> Marty to assert his dominance and show his disdain, and Chance to try any way possible to get out of that situation. Chance screams like a little bitch and probably alerted all of the neighbors to the passing of the torch, from one king to another. This is honestly so embarrassing for someone who claims they are tough as nails. You can never recover from this image, besides the fact that there was a minor sliver of a shadow of a doubt about how tough Chance is, but with his frame and his mental fortitude, we knew it was over. Mari just totally alphas over him, making him call him the king and then having Chance basically beg for his own well-being. I have never seen a lolcow be put into a situation this dire with so much external consequences than what just occurred. I'd never be able to show my face in public again after a beat down like that. Get up! And here we get to see the poor little goblin trot off into the rain to go cry to Sally and complain on his YouTube some more. If anything, it shows that Marty is the benevolent dictator. He could have beat this guy into a coma, but showed great restraint. I feel like it is similar to when a, a little kid is harassing you, and you showcase that you have the upper hand without being too physical with them. Big ups, Marty. But low key, why do we have two low cows rolling in the puddles on a Saturday night together? He started like trying to like fight and like and fight back, and then I just I just clocked him a couple times. Um, it's, he could be about five foot one. He could be. That picture shows the blood splatter that this beat town left on the sidewalk. I've got to get up there quick to embellish this piece of pavement like they do with the stars on the sidewalk in Hollywood. This moment has to be cherished forever. Cyrax tried to fight to his very last breath, but that was just his caveman instincts kicking in. Apparently he just barely breaks the 5 foot mark, so I guess I can't call him short anymore. He is almost the average height of an American woman, and so for that, I give him props. In all seriousness though, at least he showed up. Even though he was too naive to realize he was going to get taken to the woodshed and chopped up, the former Drift King and King of Akron showed up to display his weakness. We've got a new sheriff in town. Marty, why are you spreading lies without me saying that I went to jail when I did not? Look how they massacred my boy. He had a live stream before this where he was trying to hype himself up for showing up even though he had just gotten beaten up. It reminds me of Jason Genova saying that sometimes you win because no one else shows up. I only give him props for being there, but he got what was rightfully coming his way. In terms of the jail thing, I have no idea what these two are talking about. I'm sure Marty Snitch had some new intel about Cyrax spending a night in the Slammer recently, but I could honestly care less. It's also pretty funny that this is the first point of contention that Chance wants to bring up. Not the fact that Marty had just fractured his nose in part of his eye socket. What you did, I don't know if you realize this, but you almost killed me. I could have killed you. No, you almost did. There was no could have. You almost did. Chance is a funny guy, because it honestly didn't seem like he was in too much peril. He is a small little fella, so maybe the punches would do more damage, and we couldn't see everything that was going on when they went to the ground. But I'm not sure about the whole death thing. Marty showed some great restraint here. It's also funny because Cyrex says that Marty put his knee on his neck. Which is like, come on man, you're not going to make a martyr out of yourself like the whole BLM thing back in 2020. Next we're going to hear him say, hands up, don't shoot. I was not going to swing at you at all. You kind of came bolting out of your door at me, Cyrax. I actually don't think that Cyrax is going to swing on him. I think he was probably going to run up at him and shove him. Regardless, if he was trying to ease the tensions, 
Maybe he shouldn't come running up and yelling at another man three times your size. That would be a good start. I saw that some people are trying to say that Chance had a weapon with him, and that's a load of baloney. Cyrax is only a threat to children, and I don't see him being a real threat towards any adult. Oh, come on. Don't come on me, man. I'm way too childish to be making serious reaction videos to these things. <laughs> I feel like not enough people took time to laugh at Chance saying, Don't come on me, man. I've got the mindset of a 13 year old, which is why I guess I'm so enamored with Cyrax. And you tried to punch me again from the ground. Because you wouldn't get off of me. Well, you look like you look like a rabid ferret. He does look like a rabid ferret, just all busted up and wearing a kimono for whatever reason. I guess he is trying to regain his zen after such a soul-crushing defeat. He was in life preservation mode and couldn't be bothered with acknowledging any of the true events that were going on. Because really? if, if you had, you would have let me get my bearings like an honorable human. You have no honor. In the video yeah, footage, I can't even know. believe you're a real person. Chance, this isn't some manga that you are watching. A street brawl is exactly what it sounds like. No rules. Best man wins. Did you also expect Marty the bow before any altercation occurred? This is what happens when you let Fortnite kids run amok throughout society. You get nitwits like Chance spouting all this garbage about things he knows nothing about. He also is completely shut down when Marty mentions that he can't believe that he is a real person. He has no response to that. You just sure, said I almost killed you. Sure, you may have busted out my nose, but I'm still standing. You were barely standing. I'd be concerned if one of his two remaining brain cells weren't destroyed. Probably should go to the hospital if you have a consistent nosebleed two hours after a fight. But. His immune system is probably all messed up from all the sludge that he's got sliding down his gullet anyway. So what's the point? Now what are you gonna do? You gonna come over here and shut me up? Is that it? You gonna come over here and try to shut me up again? He literally just shut you up, Cyrax. He's like a broken record, this guy. It's that SpongeBob meme of how many times are we gonna have to teach you this old this lesson, old man? Like you don't understand, but I'm legitimately moving here. No, you're not. Cyrax's greatest fear. Marty being there permanently. At that point, I feel like Rax could just get a restraining order to keep him away, but there is no way Rax could follow through with that himself. However, speaking for the viewers, we need Marty to move right next door to Sally and Co. Well, like I said, Marty, I hope you're prepared to have every single person on the internet and every single bit of law enforcement coming down on you. You aren't gonna do anything, baby boy. We all just saw what happened. Stop trying to act so damn tough. Goodbye. Yeah. Why don't you take Sally's advice and stay far, far away from the internet? And Sally, why don't you kick that pedo of a son out of your house? You a betting piece of crap. Either way, We've reached peak Racks content, and I'm excited for what it will come next. But, until that point returns, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.